Nurse Dr Gill. I believe you've just had a, a chat with our nurse, haven't you, with regard to the diabetes? Uh, yeah. yeah. And we're now going to start you um, on how to do a finger prick um, blood glucose, is that correct? Uh, yes, it is. So, have you ever done this before? Uh, no, I haven't, but I've seen people doing it. Okay, so we're just going to quickly run through that to start off with. Uh, before we start though, could I get you to uh, just pop outside and just wash your hands to make sure that there's nothing on your hands, so that way we can ensure that we've got a good test, if that's okay? okay. I'll get my kit ready whilst uh, you just pop out. Just okay. pop back in when you're ready, okay? okay. Thank you. Okay, so this is the same uh, kit that you're going to be using at home. So this is the, the glucometer, and we've got a, uh, a lancet, which you'll take the end off and you'll put it into the pen. Okay. Uh, be careful at this point, and you'll be able to put the top on, like so, and then on the top you'll see a gauge okay. here. Um, the lower the gauge, the less deep it'll go. The longer the gauge, the deeper it'll go in. Okay. So. We'll start for the middle for the moment, and hopefully that should mean that we are able to get an effective blood draw. Okay. In order to fire it, we'll pull back on the plunger, and then we'll just press that button. That flash means it should have fired. And when okay. we pull up, you can see the yellow uh, to show that everything is primed. Yep. Okay. So as we do that, you'll get um, a small dot of blood, which we'll then put onto um, the test strip here, and that'll give us our number. So I'm just gonna put my gloves on. Now, when you do these at home, it's vitally important to make sure you do wash your hands, okay? Mm -hmm. um, because if, for example, there's some sugar, anything like that on your fingers, then that can adversely affect this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna open up the test strip. And we're going to put it electronic side in. It should wake everything up. Okay, and we'll wait for that to start to say it's ready. Okay, so we can see that it's ready to accept the blood. So are you right or left handed? I'm right handed. Okay, so let's start off with your left hand if that's okay. okay. And if we can just have your hand upwards like so. So what we'll do is we'll go into the left side of uh, your finger there and it's vitally important to make sure that you don't take blood directly over the fingertip because that's where all the sensitive parts of your finger are. Okay. And whilst a single shot won't cause a problem, over time that may actually cause damage to the skin and the nerves, which we don't want. <laughs> so again, we've got the needle in, we've got it set to four at the moment, and we've got the prime set. We're aware that it's, the machine is still on, we've got the correct date and time, and it's asking for us to put the blood on. So if you could just move your finger around, super, thank you. So we're just going to fire on the um, outside of your finger. So one, two, three, fire. Okay, so we've got a little bit of blood there. That's good. And we're just going to do one, two, three. Super. And if we just get you to hold on to that, and that should stop nicely. Okay, so we've got the 5.6, so that score's fine. So we'll take that off. And so at the moment, that's excellent. So you, uh, whilst we do have that diabetes that we're worried about, we do know that at the minute, um, that number is excellent. Okay. So did the nurse tell you about um, any of the blood sugar numbers that would be problematic? Uh, below four is on the floor. Absolutely. So if you are feeling a little bit unwell and you found a blood sugar of four, what would you do at that point? Uh, I'd try and get some uh, food into me, preferably things like orange juice or Lucas Aid, something that would be quickly. Um, I could also make sure that, that I've got someone near me for help. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, one of the things I like to advise patients is if they keep a packet of jelly babies mm -hmm. in their bag because it's a nice bit of sugar, Honestly, they're probably not going to go off. Okay. So that's on the bottom side if we're having a hypo. Um, did they tell you what to do if things are going the other way, if they're high numbers? Uh, so it'll be um, insulin uh, injections maybe, but I know that if they get too high, I need to maybe consider going to hospital. 
Okay, well thankfully we're not uh, talking about insulin with yourself at the minute. What are the high numbers that we might worry about? Did she discuss that with you? Um, I've got two numbers in my head. It's either above 7 or above 11. I think we're looking at that. Okay, so absolutely. If it's, a low, if it's above 11, then we need to think maybe we need to look at better control of your diabetes. If it's over 15, at that point we're causing damage. And if it's saying high or it's over 20, I really need you to contact us so we can see what we can do to help okay. there and then. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me at the moment? Uh, no. Super. Okay. So just to finally wrap up, when you've finished with the pen, again, you're going to take it apart and we're going to take the sharp and make sure we put that into the sharps bin okay. uh, which will make sure we get uh, one prescribed for you okay. okay right any other questions of that uh no super well have a good day and thank you for popping in you do thank you